Hey, hello guys, this is Kathik from ExilAutomation.com and this is part 8 of our Appium with Java video series. And in this part, we're going to start working with hybrid applications of Android using Appium. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 7 and part 12 of Android automation with Robotium series of Exil Automation channel. Again, the part 7 is not from the Android automation with Robotium series. It is part 7 of Appium with Java video series and just part 12 from Android Automation with Robotium video series. The reason why I am saying to watch part 12 is in part 12 of our Android Automation with Robotium video series of Execute Automation channel, you can see that we developed a hybrid application in Android for Robotium Automation. So you can learn more about that from this video of that particular playlist, right? Great. So working with hybrid applications. So let's start automating the hybrid Android app using Appium. For doing that, we need to again change the desired capabilities, identify the controls and start writing the code. But there is one more point in addition to this particular hybrid application is we also need to switch to the context because hybrid applications are basically a web view on the top of the Android application. So you need to switch to the particular uh, contest and then you need to perform the operation. So I will show you what it really mean. So let's flip to Eclipse. So this is the same project which we worked in our last video of this video series. And the application which we are going to automate today is the execute automation app that we developed in part 12 of Android automation with Robotium. So uh, let's try to run this application and see how this application looks like. So I'm going to run this application in the emulator. So you can see that the application is this, the execute automation. And it just brings me up a Google uh, search page. And then you can perform any kind of uh, search uh, in here. Oops, I don't know what is this. Awesome. So I'm just going to close this. Basically, this is just a web view control uh, and it just brings up the Google search into my particular web view. So that is the reason that you need to switch to the uh, web view before you need to start perform the operation, right? So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to first change the desired capabilities of the, of the Appium uh, to support the uh, web view applications right so uh, let's do that again the activity name of this particular application is ea activity so i'm going to copy this code and then i'm going to paste it right here and the app package name is example or uh, execute automation app so so this is the uh, app package name so i'm just going to replace uh, the calculator to ea Execute automation app. I'm going to save this. That's it. This is the only two changes which we need to make. And then I'm going to delete this full code. So as I already told, the first and foremost thing is we need to switch to the context. So either you can switch to the context or you can directly pass the context name if you already know that. So I already know the context name, which is nothing but this guy. But the most important thing which you need to understand is there is one more prefix, which is nothing but web view, which probably I can show you how it looks like. So I'm just going to save this. And if I try to run this code, maybe you can see uh, what the Appium server uh, will tell. So before starting this particular video, I have already set the application path in my Appium server for this particular APK file, right? So now if I run this particular test and you can see that the context we have given is just this one, but the Appium server will actually throw you an error and it will say that this particular contest does not exist. Rather, there are two contests. One is native app and one is webview underscore com dot example dot calculator app. So this is the context name which we need to supply for our driver.contest method, right? So let's just give this particular value here. 
or you can also uh, find that using driver.findContests method. So there is one more method where you can get all the uh, contests, uh, like driver.getContest. Uh, uh, I think it context handles. Uh, so using that, you can get uh, a set of uh, uh, strings. And from there, you can identify uh, what kind of contest is actually running for your application, right? So uh, I'm doing it another way around. All right, and then I need to perform a search operation in the Google. Again, uh, in the Google, we know that the name of the text box is Q and the search button's uh, name is uh, BTNG, so which is almost known uh, for everybody. So I'm not going to again waste my time to do that. So just I'm going to write the code by using find element by ID. Oops, find element by uh, name, maybe. Yep and i'm going to pass the name as q and then i'm going to use the dot send keys method to search for uh, execute automation all right and then i'm going to click the search button so driver dot find element by name of btng and then i'm going to hit the click button that's it a very 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 small simple operation just to prove the concept that this is how the hybrid application can be automated right so i'm just going to just save this code and now if i try to uh, run this test you can see that the test will start to run and it will perform the intended operations so it just opened the application it is typing the execute automation and it clicks a button and the discard passed right so that's it guys so this is the two changes that you need to make this one and this one the capabilities and the switching to the contest that's it so thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day